Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be walking through probably one of the most unique camps that we built here at Peak Mountain Camps. This one was very well laid out um, from the customer. They wanted some very specific things to fit their needs. Um, very compact, but use of space is excellent. So uh, a little bit smaller camp than, than we've done here. Um, recently and so kind of a fun one but we're gonna walk around you can see lots of exterior storage and things on that but we're gonna go around um, and I'll show you some of the details of it and some of the reason behind it and I may even depending on on what we're looking for as far as time I might have um, the customer kind of explain some things too why he chose some things that he did so anyways we'll go ahead and get walking through. This is it on the exterior. Now this is an S24, so 18 foot box, and it weighs 8,600 pounds. So not light, um, but lighter than some of our bigger camps. So our bigger camps, some of those X30s are gonna come in right around 10,000 pounds. So I'm hoping as I go around the exterior of this one, um, I can remember all the things that he had us do to it because I mean his lists were pages long so uh, first thing you'll notice is the bigger 10 gallon um, propane tanks he had us do the bigger tanks there this is the narrower frame so this is the S model so 88 inches interior 18 feet long I think I said that already this one's got the solid front door which when I open it I'll kind of show you all of that um, equalizer hitch, um, standard jack, and it does have the stabilizer jacks all four corners. This does have the heated tanks, um, storage box below, so all of your exterior stuff can be kept outside. It does have the outside shower, and then it also has these spray ports, or not spray ports, this is an electrical connection, um, an out port, so he can charge sounds like electric bikes or something that way um, off of his solar and his battery bank six lug wheels and tires and then tons of exterior stuff going on out here this is your fresh air for your um, wood stove this is your access door um, for that wood stove feeds all the way through and this one is just storage um, does have a propane connection a quick connect to where i guess if he wants to do something in there um, he can do that six gallon water heater this one's kind of unique the way that this one's set up as far as this it's got the locking latches those of you that have followed us on our other social media accounts facebook instagram and stuff probably seen a post about this but turned a little bit different um nice to access it it locks um to where it can't go in and out it's got all your grease shields and everything there your valve in the back to turn on um, and then when you go to put it away you just lift that back up slides in very tight compact like i say this one's going to be very tight and compact um which was nice the use of space is really nice kind of a pain in the butt to work on i'm not a big fan of small spaces trying to fit things in um but it, it worked out good on this one so this one does have the dexter easy ride suspension set up so greasable shackles they are a thicker shackle um Kind of nice that way you can keep things greased if you're not into maintenance i wouldn't suggest doing this because if you don't grease them it has a brass sleeve and stuff and they end up corroding and it it ends up making a worse situation than what you already have so 
Um, keep that in mind if you're not into maintenance. I wouldn't say that that's an option for you. These do have the easy loop hubs on them. These pop out, there's a grease cert there. You can keep your hubs and everything um, all sealed. That's your exterior box, um, under storage box, so you can keep tire chocks, everything that way in there. Spare tire, sewer hose holder. He had us add some D-rings to the bottom of his frame so he can tie things off stabilizer jacks it does have an awning channel on both sides so if he wants to add a canopy or anything that way he can um, it's got loading lights on both sides your bathroom fan and then your dot markers on everything so DOT compliant, we just added these ones to the corners. That will allow us to be compliant in Canada. So we can send camps to Canada now. Um, he has the backup camera. And then a little different configuration, as you can see on the back here. This would be his coax port for his TV. But then this little box, well, you'll probably notice no solar panels back here. This is an access for solar panels. So he's got his own panels that he's gonna keep stored in there and then they will plug in to the ports that he has set up. So he'll keep all of his solar and everything stored away. It does have the two inch receiver, seven pin plug, wired for brakes, everything that way, backup lights, anything you want, license plate holder. And like I say, he's got the channel on both sides to do an awning on either side with the loading lights. This one is access to his battery setup as well as his water. Did a bigger water tank. This is a 50 gallon. So monitoring system, this is all your winterization stuff. Water pump does have the 3000 watt pure sign inverter. And then he's got eight of the six volt batteries. These are 235 amp hour batteries. So tons and tons of capacity as far as battery stuff. He did the Victron solar controller with the shunt so he can monitor all of that. Um, all of your lights, lights in all of these compartments to where you can see battery disconnects, all that fun stuff. On the back side, you can see the back side of that water heater over there. I'll show you the access to it on the inside. Water fill and city water hookups. This is just another outside storage compartment. So he's got his sewer hose in that one. AC plug, it's a 20 foot, 30 amp service plug. He's got outside AC outlet, and then this is just another DC plug. Furnace was placed underneath the fridge in this one, so fridge is elevated up a little bit, furnace below it. And this is an access for a pull-out fridge-freezer combo, and it's wired for AC, so he can access this from the inside and the outside, so 12 volt supply as well as AC supply. And then he did also, which I'm not gonna pull these off to show you, added some fans um, to his fridge on the exterior and then also on the interior. So I can show you the ones on the interior, but I'm not gonna pull the covers off to show you the exterior. Heated tanks, like I say, so he's got the electric heating elements on his tanks as well as the plumbing. And that pretty well wraps up the exterior of it. So two and five sixteenths coupler. Um, this is hinged. So you can, as you can see, I've got his equalizer hitch stuff in there. You can pull that off and you can remove these grates. Keep your arms and all of that stuff if you're running an equalizer hitch. Steps fold up so they're out of the way. I get a lot of people that ask if these will ride or if they need to strap them down. So I'll take a bungee cord and wrap around them, but it's a fairly heavy step. So 
you would really have to hit something pretty hard and just right in order for that to flip all the way up over. But like I say, I do have some people that'll put a strap around them or whatever. And then he did add, he wanted the railroad spikes instead of the traditional horseshoe that we do on the front there. So anyways, that's a look at the exterior. I'll take you in, go through the colors and everything on the interior of this one. And I think you're going to be surprised at the layout. So anyways, let's go in and see what we got going on. All right. So like I said, on the exterior, this is a solid door, not a split Dutch door. So I will say this sells a lot better than what the Dutch door is. The Dutch door is more popular. Um, the majority of the camps we do are with a Dutch door. He did add the opaque window on the front, um, privacy window on the front. And then as we go in, I'll just tell you what the colors are. So this is a sun bleached olive wall. And then windswept pewter cabinets. So kind of a grayish color. Black Alicante countertops, and then a dockside pier flooring. So I'll close this door, front door, so we can somewhat hear. And we'll just start up here in the front. So he's got a nice cabinet up above on the top here. These are all soft close hinges. Um, I say it in every video we do. Uh, knotty alder is the material that we do and then I stain this to match um, whatever the colors that they pick so in this case I think it was a windswept pewter and this one we've got a pantry and I don't you probably won't be able to tell on this video um, how much narrower this camp is than some of the ones that we walked through recently um, quite a bit narrower. Like I say, this is an 88 inch interior compared to our X camp, which would be a 96 interior. So it narrows up this walkway quite a bit. Um, but it all comes down to how you, how you're planning on using it. The bottom, like I said, on the exterior, he's got a pull out freezer, um, fridge freezer combo that he's planning on putting under here to where he can access from inside and outside. And then that cabinet on the top kind of opens up behind that top piece in the lower section. This is a little table that he's planning on using for something. Like I say, maybe when he gets here, I'll have him kind of explain how he's planning on using it. Two-way fridge, LP, CO, or LP and AC. Um, with black inserts in it, one of the black inserts. Did a little brand on his top half. He did provide, if we can get it to focus. He provided his hardware for his knobs and his poles. Turned out really good. And then, like I said, on the exterior, we do have some interior fans. The one that the fridge is on the back. So circulation fans to keep everything nice and going good in the fridge. Then he does have his, I don't know why our camera's struggling to focus, but there we go. He's got his remote for his inverter, so it'll run everything in this camp. Um, no air conditioner on here, so... He doesn't have to worry about that or anything, but he can run his fridges, run all of his AC outlets, everything that way. Monitoring panel, it'll tell him his water levels, batteries, um, you have your pump switch on there, and then you have your heated tanks. So these would be our tank heaters here, pipe heaters here. This is our circulation fan that a lot of you that are familiar with our camps now we do a circulation fan that allows you to circulate the hot air that comes from the wood burning stove throughout the camp so that in those winter months when you're using it chances are your furnace isn't going to kick on because that thermostat is satisfied 
So that way you can circulate heat throughout your camp, pumping into your tanks, um, and just have a better experience with using that wood stove. So that's what that circulation fan is. Then you have your water heater. It's a LP water heater, six gallon. Range hood, this was one that he provided. Um, it does vent to the outside, has your fan, as well as a nice little light underneath that. Three burner cooktop, no oven on this one. And then a row of drawers, three drawers below it. These are all nice heavy duty drawers, locking latches, so they'll stay in. And counter space, I apologize. I don't know why our camera is struggling to focus. This here on the bottoms, all of your fuses, breakers, everything that way. And then a single rocking recliner. So it'll rock, pivot. 36 inch windows on the sides he provided our curtains for us as well you've got overhead storage these are all on gas struts nice stay up while you're accessing your stuff in there and then he had us do reading lights above the recliner as well as at the head of the bed so got some lighting there it is wired for a tv it's got the fantastic fan, as well as the forced air furnace. And then had us do some overhead storage above the bed. Now this is kind of the unique part. So he's got kind of a wardrobe closet and everything on that side. And then a single bed on this side. This is a clothes hamper. <laughs> He can pull out, put his clothes hamper and stuff on there. Little access door for some storage there. And then, yeah, some big drawers. Some overhead stuff. And then a big closet. And then this is like a drying rack where he can kind of keep his gear dry next to the wood-burning stove. Got some steps coming up in, and then these also have drawers all along there. So as you can see, this is very well thought out. Um, he knew exactly how he was planning on using it. Wanted to utilize the storage the best that he could, being a smaller camp. And I think that we've accomplished that pretty well. So this is your access to your water heater bypass. So everything's still accessible. Like I say, when we get these small spaces and stuff, I worry that things are going to be a little harder to um, get to and, and be able to work on if needed, anything that way. But this one's turned out really nice. Wood burning stove. And more overhead storage. Big deep single sink. And these have the tip outs on them. Storage underneath. Little drawer here. So that's kind of a look at it from the back. Then he had to swing the bathroom door towards the front of the camp. 24 inch shower with the glass door. No vanity in this one, so we turned the toilet the other way to give it a little more room. Frosted bathroom window, your fan, mirrored medicine cabinet. So even though this camp is really small and compact and tight, it laid out really well to where it's usable. Sometimes we get these smaller camps 
and it seems like the customers want to pack everything into it everything that's in a bigger camp into these smaller camps which we definitely can do um, the biggest fear is we want to make sure that it's usable um, and this one definitely is i think this one's going to work out really well for him um, like i say he's put a lot of thought into it comes from a sheep family so spent some times in some of the older camps and then also as a military guy so has spent time um small quarters things that way to where he's found what he can can live with what he can live without and we've crammed the rest of it in here so like i say turned out super nice um if you have any questions about this things that you've seen like i say it's it's a camp that is very unique this is not one that's even similar to anything else that we built so very unique that way but that's the beauty of these camps is you get the camp that fits you um, we'll build it how you want us to build it and obviously we can add some input and what we think would maybe work and what wouldn't work and how we can accomplish what you want to accomplish we appreciate you watching um, sharing liking doing all those fun things helps us grow and and we love you guys for doing that so Anyways, thanks for watching. I've got another unique camp coming up here pretty soon. Um, I should have it finished up maybe by the end of this next week. So anyways, we'll catch you on that video. Thanks. Bye.